So now I want to take a look at uh, the grid system in Bootstrap. So if we head over to getbootstrap.com and we click on CSS, and uh, over here on the right, click on grid system. Now we're not going to dive too extremely deep into this, but uh, I want to use a little bit of this for our login form here, just as an example. At the very basic level, Bootstrap has created this 12 column grid system, which just allows us to have 12 columns to work with. And this is an example of how it works out. These being the uh, class names here, call-md-1. And that pretty much stands for column medium 1. And the medium, large, small, etc. has to do with the size of the screen you're displaying it on. These are kind of uh, breakpoints. So you can actually assign more than one class to these columns uh, in order to show what you want to happen if you're on a small device versus what you're on with a medium device. Now, by default, um, we're just going to stick to medium. And uh, because, like I said, we're not going to get too deep into this right now. But I did want to, you know, show what you can do with it. Uh, if you're coming into this with prior knowledge of HTML, um, and, and when I mean prior, I mean way back when we used to use tables uh, before CSS was even around. Uh, this should look kind of familiar to you. Uh, we have a, you know, we have a row and then we have columns. So it's a little simpler than a table, but it kind of has the same format. So hop over to Aptana, below our login, and uh, bef before we get to the form, so let's see, like line 32 here, let's make a div with a class name row. And we'll go ahead and build out this grid really quick and then put the form in it. So just hit enter a couple of times. Um, every once in a while Aptana does this kind of quirky thing here. So now if we take a look back at the uh, bootstrap page, now we need to make our columns. So if we just wanted one column that goes all the way across the page, we would do a div class and make this equal to col-md-12. So that's going to take up the entire page. And uh, just to give an example of that, I'll put something in here. I'll save that. And pop back over to our page and refresh. And there's a column. Now we're within the uh, the container here, so our columns aren't going to go all the way across the page, but they're going to span all the way from one end of the container to the other. Let's pop back up to Aptana. Now if we want to make two columns, we can go ahead and copy this div here and paste another one below it. But um, by default, if we just leave it like this, it's most likely going to stack them. And there you go, because they're going all the way across, and it's pushing the second one down. So in order to make these side by side, um, and if we wanted them to be equal, we would do 6 and 6. Let's come back in here and refresh. And there you go. The second column here starts in the center of the container. But now if you don't want them to be identical, you could set maybe this one to 4, and this one to 8. Just as long as the total ends up being 12, you'll have a nice row. So there you go. This one's a little bit bigger. This is the 8. and goes all the way across here and 4, only across 4 spaces. So it's kind of the span of the column if you're used to tables. So with our login form, what we could do, if we wanted this to be in the center, we could make 3 columns if we wanted to, and make them all four. So let's go ahead and take out the uh, text here. Make sure both of these are four. Copy this. And paste it below. So now we have four columns, and this middle one's going to start in the center, just because of the math here. Let's go ahead and hit enter a couple times, and come down here and let's grab our form. 
So from form tag to form tag, cut that out. And then let's paste it here inside of uh, our middle column. I'll go ahead and tab this out and save this. Pop back over to our page and refresh. And there, now our form is actually in the center. Okay, now I want to show you another way we could have done this. So if we come down here, if you see on the right, and let's click on offsetting columns. So here, by adding another class name to the uh, column, we can adjust where, it, where it's positioned at. So if we wanted to come into the center, we could actually get rid of this first column here and the second column. When you do space after the uh, first class name, and when you do call md offset dash, and then the number. So how many do we want it to be um, pushed out from the from the uh, left? So say we did two. Let's save that. Refresh. And you see we got pushed back a little bit because this is only offsetting us by two columns. But if you remember, we had originally we had three columns and each of them had a span of four. So in order to put this back in the center, we want to make our offset set to four. So let's change this to four. Save that. And refresh. And we're back in the center. And we've got less HTML to deal with.